Okay, guys, I thought I would do a home decor haul for you. Um, the company that I ordered this from is Pennet Co. You can find them on Facebook, and there's also an app. Like, I have an iPhone, and she does live sales and shows you how to style things. They're like summer vintage, farmhouse decor, modern, a mix, and she is a hoot to watch. You guys will absolutely love her. She's based out of Bowman, Georgia. She has um, a brick and mortar store as well. It's closed right now, obviously, because of the stuff going on in the world. But um, so I thought I, and I ordered a ton of stuff. And I also sent some stuff to um, <laughs> my daughter as well. So um, let's open this and see what we got. This is not from Pinnet Co., but I found this in my local pharmacy when I was um, picking up medications. Um, they have stuff that local people sell and I thought I would show you this barn. People really liked it on Instagram. You can put like a candle in there. I thought it went really well with my fly birdhouse. I also wanted to show you my neighbors own a distillery and they switched from alcohol to hand sanitizer and it comes in this really cool um, bottle. Guys, I got a lamp and I just wanted to show you how well the packaging is. And they tucked this down inside a basket I ordered. It was down inside this basket. Just wanted to show you this is how it comes. And I love all the distressing on this. This is gorgeous. I'm, I don't know the prices in front of me. But um, when I edit this video, I will put them on the screen. Okay, guys. Here's my lamp I'll put together. This is going to go um, in my living room. I think it's so cute. Here's the top of it. It took me a little while. I didn't find these prongs in there. And my friend helped me. Thank you, Karen. Um, but I love it. I love the distressing on it. And I like how the little knob up here has a distressing too. It's so pretty. Here is the basket that I got. I love like these leather um, handles on it. It's a good size. I've been doing a lot of sewing lately of masks, so I thought this would be perfect for that. And I'm really happy. It's a really good size. You can see it compared to the lamp. Okay, so this basket is called the Maze Basket, and um, it was $33. And it comes in um, three sizes. This is the largest one. And this lamp is called the Lawson lamp and it was um, $75. Okay, this is what the big box looks like opened up. It, everything's packaged really, really well. I'm so excited to show you guys this stuff. And I think this stuff is gonna pair really well with Ray Dunn. Okay, one of the first items from the big box, this is a dough bowl. Um, and um, what I like about this is these, I'm pretty sure they're authentic pieces, This that this was a dough bowl. I'm not really sure, but anyways, people used to, and maybe people still do, um, put their bread in here because the wood holds the heat to rise in their oven or wherever you would have it rise. But I thought... This is the smallest size. I ordered a bigger size, but I thought, and I got some Spanish moss. How cute would a birdhouse be in here? Um, I just think it goes really well. Not this one, because the gray maybe doesn't go with the brown. I don't know. Um, but I absolutely love this, and it's so pretty. The colors in this wood are amazing. I always like to get pieces that have a story behind it. Okay, so I found the price on this. Um, the small is $27. And I, I probably didn't say this, but um, all of her stuff ships free. Even like the lamp, everything. Like if you just order one thing, like a bag of moss to go in the dough bowl, it ships free. And um, she's quick. She really is quick. Okay, the next thing I got was a bag of Spanish moss, which I'm going to put in here. Okay, guys, so I put the Spanish moss in here for a bag of that was $2. And then I got these four um, three-inch grapevine um, 
ball set and those were eight dollars and then how cute would this be with a birdhouse in here like isn't this adorable absolutely adorable I love this um, I just she just offers so many like styles like things that I wouldn't even think of I mean I'm not gonna leave it like this I have like little green moss balls coming I have a ton of stuff coming guys so I'm excited amidst the chaos in our world that I can bring you something fun and show you how I'm gonna mix it with my done I added my little bird to it I love this next thing this is called the white chippy truck and this is absolutely adorable I ordered a moss and succulent kit to go in this. I'm not sure if it came with this one or not, but that's what I'm going to fill the back of that up with. Isn't this just all so amazing? <laughs> this makes me so happy. Just thought I should show you all of the details on this car, like this truck. It's amazing. Right down to the tires. It's so stinking cute. Okay, these next two things you're looking at are vintage um, brick molds and these were $14 each and these are like legitimate what they use to make bricks like these are amazing and I'm gonna use one for my sewing stuff where I've been sewing and then I thought the it flipped upside down would make a great base for a birdhouse maybe not the gray one but I have like 80 million birdhouses these days how adorable is that? I love these. There's so many things you could do with this. You could put that moss in here. I mean, there's just tons, tons and tons of things you could do with this. I'll show you the details on this. This is the real deal. This is just stunning in person. Okay guys, I am like completely shocked and amazed at this box. This is the tree bark box and this is the small size <laughs> and it was only $20. Like this is absolutely amazing. You could do so much with this. You could put flowers in this. I got it for fabric, but it's a lot bigger than what I thought. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but I'm happy I have it. It's got the rope handles. I'll show you the other side. This is absolutely worth $20. This is good stuff. Okay guys, I picked these up for one of these boxes. Let's see if they fit. I picked this up at my local drugstore. They sell like local stuff. How cute is that in there? And I thought I could put like flowers or something in there. Don't tell, but this I got this for Jill. Um, I ordered her birthday's coming up. She's across the country from me, and I can't fly and go see her, which makes me sad. But um, I thought this would look so cute in there that she would love this. I like the metal mixed with that, and um, she can decorate them however she wants. And I also picked up this little jar of flowers. I thought with some moss in there, this might look cute in the back of this truck. I also thought it might be good in here, but it almost looks too small um, for in here. I don't know. I think that's kind of cute in there. If um, she puts some moss in there and then I thought maybe like a candle next to it would be super cute in here. Also at my drugstore, I picked up these little, I don't know, like twine balls. I thought this would be cute in the dough bowl. Oh, they're super cute in there. They would even look cute in the back of this truck when I get the other moss and succulent kit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Okay, next thing I got was this Buffalo Check rug, and it feels like it's very sturdy. I have another one, and I like to layer my mats with this, although I can't go out and find a new mat, which I'm sad about, but I'm gonna layer this with a couple rugs that I have don't judge them, we've been using them outside, so they're a little tattered, but, and they don't really match this print, but just so you know what I mean. And we'll just see, um, stretched out, how big this is. Okay, here it is stretched out, 
and it's it's a nice size. I really like it. My other one is almost too big. Okay, obviously this is too much buffalo check, but you get the gist. I'll show you the other one. This one doesn't really go either, but I don't know. It's kind of cute, but it's not the look I'm going for. I really miss being able to go and shop. I have like a mat, this mat, <laughs> kind of an addiction. I miss going to Home Goods and TJ Maxx and Marshalls. I know we all do. Being safe is an important thing, but I need a mat. Okay, so I just flipped one of the brick molds upside down and then I set the car on top of it and then put the Spanish moss and some of these little grapevine things, I think that's what it's called, in the back of there. And then I left just a little bit in here around the bird's nest. I thought that was really cute. So you don't have to use the whole bag for just one thing. Okay, the next two things are these Greenfield Dairy Crates. And look, they even have um, like the address of where this was. How cool are these? So the large one is $36 and then the small one that I got is $28. These things are amazing. I love all the distressing on it. The inside is gorgeous. Um, I got these um, for fabric. I thought this would look, I right now I just have fabric everywhere where I'm sewing masks for people, for myself, and um, I thought this would really clean everything up and make it just look really cute. I also picked up from her this really thick, um, I wouldn't even call it a pot holder because I don't think you could um, use this to pick a pot up with. You probably could because it's so thick. But um, it's more like a hot plate. Um, I am always needing these when I cook and have people over. Although, obviously, I'm not doing that now. I'm talking about in the future. For my husband and I, when we cook, we'll set our hot plates on here rather than ruining our good table. And I want to say this was like $8. And there's three different colors. And this is nice. Very nice. And it has a little hook up there so you could hang it in your kitchen. I ordered some hooks from her too. Guys, I have a ton of stuff coming from her. So just um, grab a drink because I'm gonna film over the course of maybe a week or two getting stuff from her and then just unload, upload one big um, video with everything. Okay, so I moved myself, myself, yeah. I moved my stuff that I just showed you over to this shelf right here for now. I'm in love with it because we have to make room for more. So I kind of set everything up down my dis in my basement and then I disperse it throughout my house. That's kind of my method. Um, my dogs can't get to me down here, so they won't tear things up. Okay, so I got some more boxes. Three huge boxes. I love that they write on these. Thank you so much, you're the best, Pennant Co. We love you, Pinnaco. We hope you love all of your new items, Pinnaco. I got my poof down here to sit on when I'm taking all these goodies out. I'm so excited, guys. Okay, guys, I want to show you how well all this stuff is packaged. Like there's paper on top and then I got another lamp down in here. So there's box one. And then, oh my gosh, look at all this amazingness in here. And then this one has paper on top of it. Oh my gosh, that's my planter. Okay guys, this first thing is this beautiful chippy like, oh look, it matches my nails. That's hilarious. Um, and it's a, it has the big um, hanger on it. I am so excited to hang this on. Um, I want to order another one, but they're on the wait list. Um, this thing is just phenomenal. Look at this. This is going to be gorgeous. I want one for my front porch, one for my back porch. Gorgeousness. Okay, guys, I have so much to show you. This first thing is, um, this wooden sign on this rope, um, I just hung it up here. Um, local honey for sale, it's $15. I thought this would go great 
with all of my Ray Dunn B stuff. Okay, this next thing I am so excited about is this candle. It's a dough bowl candle. And this dough bowl, I know I just talked about it, but this is what you use. You put the bowl, obviously not with the candle, in the oven to let your um, bread rise because it holds the heat. Um, so here's the dough bowl and it is a lemon um, pound cake. And this, I could, I opened the box and I could smell this. This was $32. And then when it's, when you're done with the candle, then you have a bowl. So I'm so excited. Normally, I don't do candles in like spring and summer, but this year is different with everything that's like going on in the world. Like, I mean, it's stressful to leave your house, the thing, you know, put a mask on the whole nine yards, you know, going to work, all that stuff. And candles seem to be soothing, um, even though it's hot and humid outside. Um, we've been lighting a lot of candles. Okay, the next couple of things I got here are the, this right here is the um, Hive Rules sign. This was $26 and it says Hive Rules. Be kind and honest, be grateful and positive, believe in yourself. And again, I thought that would go amazing with all of my bee stuff from Ray Dunn. And then, I got this cute little galvanized um, pitcher. It was $13.50 and inside of it, I have a white jip bush. So here's the pretty little flowers. I'm gonna set this on my little table um, on my back porch. That sits like beside my um, chairs. It's not very big, so I thought this would be cute just to have um, something cute on it, but still give you room to like set your coffee down. A sandwich you know that kind of thing okay next thing is this amazing white chippy um, farmhouse pitcher and it was 14 bucks like this thing is it's metal it's beautiful and if you don't want the cow on it you can turn it around and face it this way so if you want a different look and I have the um, button fern bush in that in the color light green and it was six dollars um, I have two of them in there. Here's what one looks like. You could get away with just one. Um, I think that um, these would look pretty in there, but I don't have a lot of green like in my house and on my porch. I don't have a green thumb at all. Um, so that's why I'm like stocking up on these. And I just love that she shows how to style this. Like Allie is amazing. Like, she's seriously the next Joanna Gaines. Like, they could be sisters. I mean, she just has an eye for decor. It's absolutely amazing. I love that she puts things together for you. Because I would just second guess myself and I'd be like, oh, that looks dumb. Even though it's supposed to be what looks good to you, but I don't know what looks good to me. I need some help. Okay, these next things look so real like up close like holding them they feel like a real flower these are called symbian um, picks and they're five dollars each they're a substantial flower but they're not so big that they would just set in like a single little vase like these are gorgeous you could even put those in the the little farmhouse picture back here um, and I just stood one up so you could kind of see what it looks like these are amazing Okay, the next thing I got is this, I don't think you can tell how little this is, but it's a very small like bedside table or you know, like a little, you could put on a little table at an entryway, I'm not sure, but it's so pretty in person. I'm not sure if you can tell, but the bottom of it is glass and it's like this brown color um, and this was $62. I added my fern bush to my um, lemonade pitcher, my Ray Dunn pitcher. I'm still wallpapering over here, guys. Um, that kind of stopped when the pandemic hit. But I thought I would show you how cute that looks in there. So cute. And yes, that's still Easter stuff over here. Okay, next thing I got is this um, nature... Um, wax melt 
it's like a pottery and it has these cutouts all the way through it. It's so pretty. I like that it's not great big. My only other wax melt type of thing I have is a big like galvanized barn and it takes up a lot of space. Um, so here's a little dish that comes out. You see the inside there's the little light. I took the extension cord from my sewing machine or I would um, plug it in. Okay, so then I got a variety of their wax melts and um, they make these so like they have their little um, pennant co on there these are six dollars each and this is what they look like they're in these little circles they're so cute and they they smell amazing like I can smell it through the package so we have vanilla hazelnut Georgia peach um, cranberry marmalade into the woods, and then I got two apple pie. Okay, I have one, two, three, four items here. Okay, so the first thing, this is the four hole sugar mold, and this thing is gorgeous. It's super, super heavy, like, look at the texture of this. I'm guessing this is how they made sugar. This was the mold for it. Um, and let's see, how much was that? That was um, $16. And you can just do all kinds of things with this. There's like, you can put candles down in there. Oh, I bought a candle. I wanted to see if it fit. Let me grab it. Okay, so I picked up this Yankee candle in um, strawberry buttercream. I thought maybe it might fit down in there. I mean, it still works, but I wanted it to go down in there. Um, they sell candles that fit down in there. Um, but they were just out of stock. So anyways. Okay, and then the other thing I got is this um, farm sign. This is an enameled sign. Let's see, how much was this? This was $7. And what I'm gonna do is um, screw that onto the front of that. How cute would that be? How adorable, I absolutely love this. You know, and you could flip it upside down if you wanted, you know, to put something on like you could, do that. I mean, that's super cute. There's so many things you can do with this stuff. So, okay, well, let's talk about this since I have this up here. This is the um, Wood Mango House. The color's red. It does come in white, and this was $34. And guys, this stuff is legit. Like, it is so heavy, so, so heavy. And it's just stunning. These are pieces you'll have forever and ever and ever. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, so what I have it on, I have this thing back here flipped upside down. I thought that was cute. While I have it flipped upside down, I'm also gonna show you um, my birdhouse can go on there too. That is just stinking cute. So this is a, sorry. Um, looking at my notes. This is a vintage seed dispenser. So you would put your seeds down in there and then I and then they would come out the bottom <laughs> to plant. Um, and this was oh, I didn't write the price down. Um, I'll have to let you guys know. I want to say it was around like I don't even know. I'm not sure. I think it was around like $30. But this thing is huge. It's like five inches round and six inches tall. And you could even, I tried this earlier, very carefully set this on here. I'm gonna break it. So many, I mean, you just, this stuff can just go with anything. I swear, I swear, I swear, I swear, I love it all. Okay, I just looked it up. This is $34 for the seed dispenser. Let's just look at it, how amazing it is. Oh my gosh, it's so heavy see all the details on it kind of lean this up against this look how cute this is like this guys I cannot get enough of Spanish moss like this stuff is so cool and it's only two dollars um, this stuff is amazing you can just put it everywhere like where I'm doing um, artificial plants, like I'm just gonna kinda tuck this around the pot, you know what I mean, to make it look super cute. So I just added a little bit under here. Look how adorable. And you could put it under there. You could just put it everywhere. 
Okay, this next thing you're looking at is a six foot boxwood garland. And guys, this stuff is five bucks. Like, it is amazing. Like, this is just good for so many things. Um, I made another arrangement, which I'll have to bring it down here and show you. I put this, I got a bigger size dough bowl and I put, fill, put this in the bottom to fill that up. But, I mean, it just looks cute just like this. Um, and five dollars. Guys, like, other companies and stuff this stuff is way more expensive and I'm sure I've said this but like you could go on um, her app or website and order this and all you would have to do is spend five dollars and it, there's free shipping like you absolutely cannot beat that this really can just um, take something to another step you know adding this in Okay, this next thing is the storage bin. This is $34, and this thing is huge, and I love all the chippy details on it. Like, this is like a, a cream, and then it's got like the metal, you know, like coming through, and then it's got like that rust look around the top. It's got a wooden handle, and then it's got four spots down in here. This is so cute. You could use this for 80 million things, seriously. Okay, the next thing I added was this little cutie down here. This is the Angel Vine um, Bird's Nest, and this is five bucks. It's so cute, so, so, so cute. And then I also got this Time to Eat, y'all. I don't say y'all, well, sometimes I do, but a lot of my family is from down south. And um, Jill has a friend, and his family is from down south, so I thought we would incorporate this into um, our kitchen to incorporate, you know, anyways. And I thought this would be really cute, um, like above my door frame, like up high, um, you know, so it's just, you don't walk in and it doesn't jump out at you, but if you look up, it's cute. So in the back of it, I'm not sure if I said how much this is. This is $28. And I love all of her stuff because it has the ways to hang them. So many things that you get don't have the hanging system on it. And then I don't ever end up using it. And it just gets tucked into my storage room. Okay. I got these little coffee scoops. I think they were like 5 or $8. The reason I got three, I'm going to give them for gifts. Um, what's different about these? They have a clip on the end to clip on the top of your coffee bag. How cool is that? My husband uses a coffee scoop. Like, he is very precise about making his coffee if he brews a big pot. So I got those. And then this little, um, like, cream, creamish white. I'm not sure what color exactly it is. I think it's cream. Um... And it comes with the little mounting brackets. I'm going to use these in my kitchen um, for various things. I thought those are really nice. And it comes with the hardware to hang them. And then I also got these cast iron. They come as two to make a shelf wherever. I'm, I'm determined to hang some stuff. So my husband for Mother's Day is getting me my own drill. <laughs> he's a home builder and when I need to use his drill, it's usually at the job site. So he's getting me my own drill. So I'm very excited about that. Okay guys, these next pictures, um, they're like actual pictures and each one that you get is different. Although I did get this one and this one are the same but it's glass inside and it's got this chippy frame and this is glass, like you have to be really careful. And it does have the little hangers on the back. I'm gonna put this on a wall with them spread out like this. Well, not with that one, the same, you know what I'm saying. I thought that these are just amazing, amazing, amazing. Um. I spent a lot of time with my grandparents growing up and these just remind me of the, all those pictures I used to look at um, in their album books. Both of them are gone now, but um, yeah, these are so different and so unique. Okay, these next two pieces are this, I think they're called triple cross, unlike um, shutters. 
they were $47 each. They're huge. I'm going to use these over my coffee bar. I have like a, um, a farmhouse style chippy white um, coffee cart type of thing. And I'm going to, I'm looking for a barn door to go in the center. This piece down here came off during shipping, but it's not a big deal. I have the piece and my husband can, or I can get it back on there. But these are beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. You can do so much with these, like put a wreath here. You can put like a little pocket with flowers on them. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna use these. When I um, get them hung, I'll show them to you guys. Okay guys, I thought I would give you a back porch tour. Um, this is where I hang out a lot. So I have this welcome mat here. Here's my kitty. Hi, Puffy. And then a animal print. My, um, we have a big gas grill to the left, but it's so dirty, I'm not going to show you. And then over here, I have like an old, it's like 50 years old. Um, I got it from my in-laws. I'm, I'm going to call it a vintage bucket. And then I have this, and this was theirs as well, a plant stand with their old pots and these are flowers that I got from Pennant Co. And then over this way I have these metal chairs that I got from Wayfair. I got them at the end of um, the year last year like on clearance and they're staggered because my husband sits here and I sit there and I put my feet up on this bar so like we have an older house and we have like this piping and this cement and this is covered which is nice I sit out here all year round and then this is my old table that was my in-laws it's 50 years old too and then here's my little planter stand with flowers both of those are from Pinnet Co I'm having some coffee and there's my chair and you can kind of see off to the left down there we have a um, a fire pit that, pit that we made out of bricks. I forgot to show you. And then up here we have um, a basket of hanging flowers. And I'll link these. These aren't real. These are from Amazon. I put another one like this on my front porch in my um, big metal hanger um, that I showed you guys, like the tulip hanger that I got from Pinnet Co. It fit down in there beautifully. Okay guys, so what you're looking at may look like a giant bucket of hot chocolate with marshmallows, but it's not. It's the peanuts um, from all of the packing that you guys saw. And I put this bucket out into the rain and they dissolve. So I thought this was the most amazing news and wanted to share it with you guys. Okay guys, so I used Radon and all of my Pinnet Co stuff, well not all of it, but a lot of it, um, to make this display when you enter into my basement. I think it's so cute. I love how it turned out. Um, so we'll start up here. I have the Local Honey for Sale, that's by Pinnet Co. And then we have the Hive Rules. And then back here, so I could get some height on that, I have my small Doughboy dough boy oh my gosh dough bowl turned around backwards and then I have this tiered tray here and so we have the bumble by Ray Dunn the honey pot I have the hive sweet hive I got that from a seller on um, Instagram if I can remember where these things are from I'll um, link it down below back here this is Right here, this is just a little pick that I got before, um, oh my gosh, I can't even remember the store's names, Hobby Lobby, before they closed. Um, actually, I um, had it delivered, but it's still from there. Okay, so then I have some garland down in here. This is from Pinnet Co. And there's my cute little sign back there. Got a little gnome going here, action. And then up here I have a buzz sign and another gnome. And then I took my little honey pick and put it down into this um, little ball here so it would stick up like it's foam inside. Okay, and then back here I have my barn. On Instagram, so many people have been asking me where I got this and I found this at my local drugstore. Um, local people sell stuff there. They have like a little gift shop area and that's where I found it. 
So I have my Be Happy mug in there. And then I don't know if you can see, but I have a grapevine little ball tucked in the window. I have some more garland going around it. This has a little honeycomb thing on the end. I don't know if that's what it's called, but. And then this, I can't touch it or it'll fall. And then on this side, it has a beehive. So then we've got our little truck action happening here. The truck is from Pinnaco. Then I have another little um, beads. Same thing here, poke that into the little ball. And then I had this left over from Christmas and I um, put the, the topper. This one I actually made myself, as you can tell, because it looks horrific. And I poked the little honey thing in there. And then, oh, I forgot to mention. Okay, so down here, this little bird's nest is from Pinnaco. I flipped the sugar mold that I showed you guys earlier upside down to put this barn on here. And then the farm sign, I haven't screwed it in there yet. So that's that. And then over here, I have the seed dispenser flipped upside down. These are just like crafting, um, what, am I trying, what am I trying to say? Sorry guys. Um, like stickers for scrapbooking. That's what I put on there. And then the queen bee ray down canister. And then I also have this little charm on here that's like pottery on the end. It says buzz and that is very carefully placed on there. Okay guys, I just wanted to show you <laughs> what I did with all this stuff. Oh my gosh, I had so much fun doing it. So much fun creating this. I hope this gives you guys some inspiration. Okay, so this very last thing I have from her, thank you if you've hung in there this whole time, if you haven't turned off my video because you're tired of hearing me ramble, but this is like a craft kit and they send everything you need to make it. I have my computer out. Sorry, I can't get the picture any bigger, um, but it's $38 and it's this welcome moss craft kit. So this is what it's gonna look like when it's done. So like, um, you'll put your numbers for the address and these are still available. I think this would be so much fun to do with your kids. Um, we're, most of us are stuck inside. Um, I'm still going to work. I'm fortunate enough to have a job right now, but look, it comes with everything. So it comes with like the stencils to cut out your numbers. It comes with a moss sheet and it comes with black paint white paint the ribbon and then of course the wood and it already has the holes pre-drilled here's the welcome it'll go down here or wherever you want to put it and the little paint brushes and also sandpaper i saw her do um another video and like she painted the surface black first, let it dry, and then did white, and then took the sandpaper to make it, you know, look like chippy or whatever. So I thought I would share that with you guys. I'm really excited to do this. This is not something I would normally do. <laughs> so I'm excited to see if I can actually do this. Okay, guys, I hope you guys are all staying well and staying safe. I hope I offered some form of entertainment for you in our time of crisis in the world. Um, all right, guys. Well, thanks so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And thanks for watching.